Moving on, we have a caller now from Vishakapatnam. Uh, Uday Bhano has called in. Uday, what's your question? Uh, actually, ma'am, I wanted to ask. Oh, actually, suppose if a piece of land is given for development, mm -hmm. so what what are the tax implications for the person who is offering the land to the developer? Okay, if I have a piece of land and if I hand it over to a developer for uh, develop, development, what are my tax implications? Well, this has been the subject of much controversy in taxation for the simple reason that even though there are redevelopments all over the place, there is TDR, uh, the Income Tax Act does not specifically address development rights and TDR. Having said that, let us uh, give a very simple answer. If you are going to enter into an agreement to hand over your development rights, and uh, at either you give a power of attorney or you signed a register and signed and registered your agreement plus you have also given possession the the judgment seem to now suggest that if you have even if you've given a power of attorney granting all rights coupled with possession it would amount to a transfer that is the point of time when capital gains would arise whether or not you have received the consideration this is the general trend so you will find that you will uh, have to pay tax on the amount that you get if it is not amount, sometimes you are asking for, you know, a, a certain built up area to be given to you, then built up area, uh, whatever is the cost of construction for the builder, that would be considered as the consideration in your hands and it will be taxed accordingly, long term or short term, depending on your holding period. Now, you know, uh, a lot of times and we're seeing that increasingly happen now, uh, you know, developers do not want to buy land. Uh, they choose to execute uh, joint development agreements where the landlord is still, you know, still has authority over the land, the original owner of the land, and the development rights are passed over to the developer. And then uh, the person who owns the land uh, stands to get a share in the profits or, or in the revenue in that particular project. So in that case, uh, since there is no physical transfer of land, what are the tax implications? Well, it's the same uh, thing that I just said that once you are transferring rights, uh, development rights upon your land, then either you are receiving cash, in which case it's uh, not a problem. But if you are receiving, uh, say, constructed area, then the constructed area, the cost of construction is what will be assumed to be the uh, consideration in your hands. And that would be considered as the sale price minus whatever is the cost of the land that you are uh, granting the rights over. That would be your uh, and chargeable when do, I, when do I have to really pay this tax? Because if I'm giving handing over land today, say I've entered into a joint development agreement, uh, by the time that is actually developed and uh, you know sold and when I'll actually start getting that money, it could take anything between three to five years. So well, when do I have to pay the tax on that? <laughs> this The problem with this is you have to structure your agreement very carefully. It's a very complex subject. Uh, that is why I gave a very simplistic answer that if you have... Uh, done the agreement or POA and you know handed over possession is taxable but you could structure it in such a way that you know uh, at the present juncture while you are giving certain rights you make sure that it uh, the transfer is not being affected mm. you must put that into your agreement and therefore you could uh, defer it by say two or three years till finally the builder has you know constructed the area and is ready to sell and uh, therefore you can at that point of time receive the money and pay your taxes right over there what seemed as a simple question obviously turned out to be turned out to need quite a complex answer over there but uh, very simply put the minute you hand over land or the development rights it constitutes a transfer in the books of the tax authority which means you need to pay tax on that you need to pay capital gains on that and capital gains are calculated on the basis of the sale proceeds the money that you get from the sale or the money that you get uh, because of the transfer of development rights, that is whatever profit you will get uh, once that property is developed. Now, how and when to structure your tax payments for that, since it is a big deal, it does involve a huge amount of money, it involves land. The best thing that you can do is go uh, contact a lawyer, a tax lawyer preferably, and uh, sit with the lawyer and drop those documents. That way, you will ensure, uh, you'll be able to ensure that, uh, you know, uh, your uh, share in the revenue is protected and that uh, your interests are protected, especially when it comes to tax. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.